Hello everyone and welcome to my channel drama area. In this video I will show you all the films and dramas of the Korean famous actor, Kim Hyun Jung. But before we start support me guys and subscribe to my YouTube channel. His drama number one is, Nonstop Season 5. The drama is released on 2004. And Kim Hyun Jung played a guest role as, himself. The story is about, and is another season of the non-stop sitcom. Which shows the everyday life of students who live in a dorm. His drama number 2 is, Can We Refill the Love? The drama is released on 2005. And Kim Hyun Jung played a support role as, William H.J. The story is about, Jin Ju is a single woman with an appearance and job everyone else would envy, but she is not happy because of her divorce. Meanwhile, her sister, Sun Ju, is a housewife who is without a good education and incompetent but often dreams of a deviation. Next to them is the love of their life watching their back. On the other side, there's Dong Wu, Jin Ju's ex-husband, who couldn't keep their marriage because of clumsy love. Sang Tae is the husband of Sun Ju, with good education and is competent but conservative. To them, love is not passionate as burning fire anymore but the energy of life and trust they have to build together one step at a time. His drama number 3 is, Hotelier. The drama is released on 2005. And Kim Hyun Jung played a guest role as, SS501 member. The story is about, an incident in the past causes Ogata Kao or Hei to resign his position and leave the country in shame. Now, at the hotel's 30th anniversary, the hotel is facing a crisis, the president has just been submitted to the hospital, and the hotel is facing a potential takeover. Under his request, assistant manager Odajiri Kyoko goes to Korea in order to convince Kao or Hei to return. Kyoko is caught up in an incident when her purse is stolen when she meets Mizusawa Kigo, who tries to help her. Ultimately, Kyoko comes back to Japan unsuccessful. However, under the advice from Korean hotel manager Shin Dong Hyuk, Kao Hei returns to Tokyo Ocean Hotel as the position of the new general manager. Upon his return however, Kyoko once again meets Mizusawa Kigo. Little does Kyoko know, not only does Kigo want to take over the Tokyo Ocean Hotel, but he also carries affections for her. His drama number 4 is, Spotlight. The drama is released on 2008. And Kim Hyun Jung played a guest role as, himself. The story is about, Oh Tae Suk is the supervisor for the society news division and he is someone who never gives up until. The truth is told even at the expense of exposing his father a member of parliament. His belief is shared by Seo Wu Jin, his subordinate junior reporter. Together, they go to great length to expose society's injustice and the corrupted relationship between the government and big corporations. His drama number 5 is, Boys Over Flowers. The drama is released on 2009. And Kim Hyun Jung played a main role as, Yoon Ji Hoo. The story is about GM Jan De comes from a poor family who owns a dry cleaning shop. One day, she visits Shin Yue High School, a prestigious school for the wealthy, 
and saves a student trying to commit suicide because of bullying. For her heroic act, Jan Di receives a swimming scholarship and starts attending He School. In Xinyue High, she meets the notorious F4, the most popular and powerful group of boys at the school, consisting of Gu Jun Pio, the leader of F4 and heir to the Xinyue group, Yun Ji Hu, the grandson of a former president of Korea, So Yi Yung, a skilled potter who comes from a family that owns the country's biggest art museum, and Song Wu Bin, whose family runs the country's largest construction company. Her life at school starts out miserable, as she doesn't fit in with other students because of her status, and later becomes worse. When she is labeled as the new bullying target of the F4, His drama number 6 is, Playful Kiss. The drama is released on 2010. And Kim Hyun Jung played a main role as, Bex Yung Jo. The story is about, Oh Hani is a clumsy high school student who falls for perfectionist Bex Yung Jo. However, Seung Jo is, indifferent towards her and rejects her love. When Hani's house collapses, she and her father move into his longtime friend's house. As fate would have it, Seung Jo turns out to be the best friend's eldest son, and Ha Ni is given the opportunity to be near the boy she loves. Will she be able to move Seung Jo's heart? His drama number 7 is, Dream High. The drama is released on 2011. And Kim Hyun Jung played a guest role as, himself. The story is about, Dream High tells the story of six students at Kirin Art High School who work to achieve their dreams of becoming music stars in the Korean music industry. Go Haimi is a student who majored in classical music but has to give up her dream by entering Kirin Art High School to pay off her father's debt. However, she needs to get two other students to also come to the school in order for her to enroll in the school conditionally. These two students are Song Sam Dong, who lives in the countryside, and Jin Gik, whom she accidentally meets while trying to escape from a lone shark. Yoon Baek Hee, formerly Haimi's sidekick, becomes her rival in school because Haimi betrays her during an audition to enter the school. His drama number 8 is, Inspiring Generation. The drama is released on 2014. And Kim Hyun Jung played a main role as, Shin Young Tae. The story is about, Shin Young Tae loses his father at the age of 15 when a Japanese soldier shoots him during the Japanese occupation of Shanghai in the 1930s. But instead of finding justice, Young Tae is accused of his own father's death. Young Tae finds justice only by using his fists in the back alleys of Shanghai, growing up to become the best fighter on the continent. His drama number 9 is, When Time Stopped. The drama is released on 2018. And Kim Hyun Jung played a main role as, Jun Woo. The story is about, a man who can stop time meets a woman unaffected by time. Moon Jun Woo is a seemingly ordinary person, except for the fact that he can stop time. His special ability makes him lonely and he finds no meaning in life. When he needs somewhere to live, he moves into a basement owned by the building owner, Kim Sun Ah. Kim Sun Ah is a hard-working, financially struggling girl who appears to have much joy in her life, but in fact struggles to pay off her father's debt. 
Jun Wu finds that when he stops time, Sun Ah is not affected and continues to walk amongst a time stopped world. With bubbly Sun Ah by his side, can the lonely Jun Wu begin to find the meaning of his existence? His film number one is, Indian Pink. The film is released on 2021. And Kim Hyun Jung played a main role as, Kong Dong Sok. Is a feature film that is filmed in a monodrama style and which shows the story from the perspective of the male lead character. And unfolds the story like a one-man play. Kim Hyun Jung plays the male lead who perfectly depicts the devilish nature of humans hidden behind his good-looking innocent smile. He brilliantly portrays the cold-blooded man who reveals his horrid devilish nature from the delicate tremors of a man who suffers from a broken heart. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you loved the video. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.